Hello, what up, what's up? All praises due to the most high God. I truly appreciate every last one of you for joining me. New subscribers, returning subscribers, and y'all that's just stopping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you'll be notified for when I upload new content. Let's go ahead and get into this message, whatever the message may be. Be sure to take only what resonates and leave in the rest. God, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, angels and ancestors of the most high with your life. Please guide and protect us as we're going to the tarot. Now, I'll meet the channel plan on this message. Just remember, make come across this message. What do they need to know? So, what do they need to hear? My on this message, please, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Now, for the strength part with the seven cups. This decision is, um, because I feel like it's decision or a direction in which someone feels like <laughs> they need help or guidance, clarity on a situation before they decide. Yeah, the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. Something about your friends, letting your friends help you. What else are the spirit? The temple? Maybe the queen of wands wanting to come out. Talk about the strength of seven of cups. Mm. Yeah, here the ace of swords in reverse. Yeah, something somebody wants something to be made clear. An ace of wands, a four of cups, with the six of cups. Okay, the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's not doing something until somebody makes something clear, until somebody says something or shows them something. This is giving me like, show me that you care, because what I heard before, I, as I was preparing for this message was careless. So somebody wants to see how much someone feels for them or cares about something. Yeah, because lately someone could be being very nonchalant or disconnected. Somebody could be like um, an introvert, very antisocial. Or, yeah, okay, what else, Holy Spirit? Six of Cups here. Yeah, we have here the Page of Cups. Somebody wants to do something to make you happy. Something about easing the pain or to relax or release. And also the spirit, this ace of swords in reverse. Yeah, we have here the full part. A new beginning, a fresh start. The feeling of being free. Okay, I'm getting like carefree and careless. They are not the same. Yeah, we have here the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and it was in reverse. One more Holy Spirit before you. We have here the seven of swords with the justice, right. So somebody could be trying to compare what they did to what you did, all right? And it's given like, don't do this. Don't. It's like somebody tried to do what someone else did, but it didn't go the same way. What is this, Holy Spirit? Something didn't end well. Clarify the seven of swords here. Somebody was very careless. But the decision that you may have made or um, with the strength card and whoever's here with the strength card energy, the decision that they're making 
it's like carefree like uh, enough like damn I'm giving the words holy spirit because i'm getting like freedom thank you holy spirit like somebody feeling free free to do whatever or say whatever and not at the expense or harm of anyone else but this person was very careless yeah the five of cups at the bottom of the deck with the seven of wands you are a badass being full of love and life love and possibilities and through this deck may you find the path to your best self so you could somebody could be like um watching you okay and in a um somebody could look up to you yeah the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck six of wands somebody could definitely look up to you what else holy spirit the four cups ace of wands Yeah, somebody wants the opportunity to do something nice for you. Somebody also is not sure about which direction to go with the situation. What is this? Yeah, the King of Swords, they're trying to think some things through. This person is really heavily in thought. Yeah, Five of Cups with the Lover's card. What is this? If somebody wants to do something nice for you. Yeah, we have here the Ace of Cups in reverse. With the king of swords but with this four of cups here somebody somebody feels like they're going to be rejected or they deserve to be rejected yeah with the nine of cups you have here the ten of cups of page wands with the four of wands and the moon card somebody's going to come in real sweet You're not, not, and somebody's not going to know how to handle the situation. Somebody's going to be like, are you for real? It could almost feel like this person has hidden motives. But I don't see that. What I'm seeing is the four of wands, page of wands, ten of cups. Why is this person... feeling rejected already we have here the ten of swords flying out with the two of pentacles and the hierophant so somebody could already <laughs> they're not available okay they're not available you have here the ten of swords in reverse two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck they could be trying to juggle you with someone else Or something else. Somebody's trying to make up for time. Clarify the ten of swords in reverse. This is something that they chose to do. Yeah, the nine of wands here with justice card. They have the devil crying out the emperor and the king of wands. You have here the ten of wands as well with the nine of wands. Somebody could be coming back in talking like family type. Okay, this could be somebody that you have a family with. It's going to be about somebody stepping out, wanting to step out. Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, Reverse, Devil Card, and Freaking of Wands. Can I find this Devil Card Emperor? Energy. Yeah. Come on, Spirit. We have here the Five of Cups, Three of Cups. Somebody's, somebody's sad that they're even thinking about doing this. Somebody's sad that they want to go towards someone else. What's the right thing to do? And it's like they've been given clarity about the right thing to do. They know what the right thing to do is. There's something about temptation. Why does something that is declared wrong feels so right? And I feel like that's because this person has other obligations. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles with the higher front of justice. What else, Holy Spirit?
King of Swords, Ace of Cups, reverse. Whew. With the Nine of Wands. Okay, and then the Ten of Wands coming. It's very hard for somebody to pull back with someone and not go towards this person. But this person is like sweet on you though. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Everything's fine. Wheel of Fortune. But they know, like, if this something, them going towards you could change everything. Something about this person pulling back or pulling back their energy. The Temperance here with the Nine of Cups. These cards just flying out. I ain't even shuffling. Do we have here the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Somebody's like, if only I was single, or if only my situation was different. Here we have here the uh, Lovers card coming out with the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Okay. And then we have here the Queen of Swords coming behind that with the King of Swords. Star card at the bottom of the deck. This is giving them. Somebody ain't stepped out. They thought about it. Truth be told, moon card at the bottom of the deck. They're in fear of judgment. Somebody wants someone, but they want them the right in the right way. And I respect it. I respect it. Somebody could love someone. Or have love for someone. Three of Swords, wow, as I see. Open the deck with the Will of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. Maybe in another life. 12, 12 on the clock. Maybe in another life. Maybe I was his husband. Maybe he was my wife. Hmm. Let me see something real quick. Let me get some messages, y'all. Clearing on some messages, so it's good for the collective energy. Have it, will you leave me like the others? I'm stuck in this version of us together, and I am blocked at the bottom of the deck. It says, Why do I deserve someone like you? And, like I said, somebody could be feeling rejected, like they're. They're shooting their shot down and they haven't even taken the shot. Somebody's concerned about you leaving them like the others. This somebody this person could have abandonment issues. There's an experience that this person had with you and they're stuck in that version of you guys and you may have changed and they may have changed. You guys are not that version anymore and they're having a hard time adapting to what it is between you two right now at this time. The passion I feel was enormous. I didn't know what to do with it. As I split the deck. What else, Holy Spirit? This person's passion for you is just burning. It can't be put out. I had to let go. Mm. I had to let you go so I could find my true self. Childhood trauma. So you may talk to this, may have had a conversation with this person about some type of childhood trauma that they went through. And they realized that there were some things that they need to let go. I don't feel like this person ever let you go. I feel like this person's having a hard time letting the idea of you two ever being together go.
Something about connecting to you help them find their true self. And you were right. Whatever this is, you were right, okay? I don't want to be, <laughs> yeah, we have here, I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. I, I can't make it up. Something about connecting with you changed this person. It helped them find their true self. You realize that everything that you gave them, the wisdom that you spoke to them, the love, the, the care, the passion and support, <clears throat> all of it was healing. All of it was healing. I wish I could be a different person. And that's what this person is wanting to be for their self and as well as you, okay? I mean, their person, you have a, what do you see in me? Because for a long time, this person was lacking some type of value in self, but you saw it in them or you, you brought it out of them. Somebody feels like they should be with you. Come on, messages, please. <clears throat> I don't know who I am anymore. And once again, why do I deserve someone like you? This love is fucking crazy. You triggered me. You triggered this person. You triggered the shit out of this person, okay? You triggered the hell out of them. And it hurts and having to let you go. And they didn't want to be alone. They didn't want to be without you. They're, just, they're sexually desiring you, okay? They want you real bad. <laughs> they want to put their lips on you real bad, okay? They want to put their lips on you real bad. Anything else on the spirit? They feel like they can't make you happy. Um, why do I feel this way? So yeah, this person is trying to understand why they feel this way. Like I said, this person is seeking clarity, okay? Some type of understanding about their self. And the love that they have for you and how this love came to be and who they're connected with right now because I feel like this person is connected to someone all right but being without you hurts this person You're able to feel this person's pain. Are they able to feel yours? I can't make it up. It is dark without you. I can't handle the love. And somebody cried at night. Somebody cried recently about this love that they have for you. Oh, shit. How could I ever forgive I met? Hmm. How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? Somebody could have definitely dragged somebody into a third party situation. Somebody could definitely try to clean up the mess that they made. One more message, Holy Spirit. And that's exactly what we got. One more message. We have here, why can't I move on from you? That's that's the real fucking gag. That's the real fucking gag right there. Why the fuck can't they move on from you? At the bottom of the deck we have here, I'm obsessed with your ass. Period. Period. Why can't I move on from you? I am obsessed with you. We have here at the bottom of the deck, life without you is hopeless, dark, depressing, and I miss your life. Ooh, what the fuck? Don't be saying that like that. That's exactly, that's exactly how the fuck they feel, though. 
Because we have here with you is dark without you. And that's what that, that's what I was picking up on. Like somebody is so well, goddamn. I want it to be different. If things were different. Let me get one more message. <clears throat> I feel like this deserves a love broke up. Wait. Damn, somebody's gonna wait for you. I'm I'm getting this. Just have don't rush it all. We have here don't rush into the allow nat nature to take its course. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Right, right, right. You got to laugh to keep from crying. You got to laugh to keep from crying. I'm doing a whole lot of that. I know that very well. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. And your love healed this person or is healing this person. It's bringing balance. Yeah, balance at the bottom of the day. What else? Collective energy, Holy Spirit. 21, 21 on the clock. We have here, mm, this is a sacred union. I'm telling you, y'all gonna be together. Y'all gonna be together, okay? If it ain't this life, y'all gonna be together, okay? Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. They naked on the back of this card. I can't show y'all that card, but honor this union for it is truly sacred at the bottom of the deck close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you create currently find yourself in it romance cupid arrow strikes somebody's been struck and i couldn't it was very hard for me to elaborate on freedom and we have your freedom here there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. My beloved, <laughs> though we are physically apart, spiritually we are always united. And for our love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. Let me shuffle and get one more. Your love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Y'all gonna be together. I, I bet. That's crazy. That is crazy. People, <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, people can just know that they're in. That's not their person, but. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Okay, so some of you guys, this is a twin flame connection. Some of you guys, twin flames are going to be coming back to you guys. At the bottom of the deck, we have your sexual union. Honor, whatever this is, it's all sacred. Okay, it's a twin flame, and this is a sexual union. For some of you guys, their sex is what had what is healing as well honor the place in one another for you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss cool okay cool 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 you two are each one half of a soul okay and you guys will definitely be coming together okay you guys the souls are connected or will be connecting and it's very important for somebody to find their joy. To know what it is to be happy, to find their happiness. Somebody wants someone to be happy, whether they're with them or not with them. I have posted a post yesterday. And um, what it said was, I posted it so refreshing and mature to know that you don't need a commitment from that person
to love them wholeheartedly and without conditions. So somebody knows that even though you guys aren't together physically, that you guys are in spirit. And I'm going to leave right there. Stop crying. It is going to be all right. Okay? Take on what resonates and leave the rest. I'm seeing the utmost love and respect, peace, healing, joy, prosperity, abundance, love, and hell of that shit. Peace.